This series of videos on Hearing and Aging 101 will explain how hearing works and what happens to our hearing as we get older. In the last video, we talked about how hearing works. So, what happens to hearing as we get older? Over a lifetime, our genetic makeup, noise exposures, and aging can all affect the inner ear and lead to a gradual loss of the cells that are located here. This process results in the machinery of the inner ear that encodes sound being damaged and leads to age-related hearing loss. This wear and tear on the inner ear means that the damaged ear can no longer accurately convert complex sounds into a clear signal for the brain. For the brain, the signals that are received often sound garbled or as if the speaker is mumbling. In situations such as quiet rooms where the incoming sounds are still clear, the effects of hearing loss won't be too noticeable. Sounds that enter the ear may be inaccurately converted into an electrical signal by the damaged inner ear, but the resulting electrical code that goes to the brain is still clear enough for the brain to understand the sound. In these cases, the brain even uses visual cues from the speaker's lips to help convert the electrical code from the inner ear into meaning. In other situations, the effects of hearing loss will be more noticeable. In noisy rooms, the sound that enters the ear is already distorted by the other sounds in the room. And this is made even worse as the damaged inner ear now poorly converts this garbled sound into an electrical code that is sent to the brain. In these situations, the brain can't always interpret the signal and words can often be misunderstood. This type of age-related hearing loss is incredibly common in older adults. One in four of all adults in their 60s, half in their 70s, and eight in 10 over 80 have a hearing loss that interferes with their everyday activities, like talking with friends or watching TV. Importantly, scientific research is now showing us the impact that hearing loss can have on our brain and our health, as our brain has to constantly work harder to try to convert sound into meaning and hearing loss gradually isolates us and makes it harder to interact with the people and world around us. At the Cochlear Center for Hearing and Public Health, we are committed to understanding the impact of hearing loss on public health and to then develop and test the solutions needed to address hearing loss to improve the lives of older adults. Learn more about what we're doing in these different areas.